हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू शिक्षा जंक्शन विद अनदर एपिसोड नाउ फॉर टुडे वी आर गोइंग विद द पीएलसी लैडर प्रोग्राम सो टुडे वी विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द बेसिक प्रोग्रामिंग कंटेंट्स हाउ इट हैज टू बी प्रोग्राम इन द पीएलसी सो जनरली इन पीएलसी एज यू नो इट स्टैंड्स फॉर प्रोग्रामेबल लॉजिक कंट्रोलर सो इट्स अ हार्डवेयर डिवाइस सो एवरी हार्डवेयर डिवाइस जस्ट लाइक we have to program it, just like your microcontroller or a microprocessor so everything has to be programmed in a similarly when we are using a plc we generally program in a one particular programming language that is called as ladder program so there are some instructions just like in every programming method you have commands instructions so here we call it as instructions you can assume it as command as well so the basic commands which is mostly used almost 80 to 85% of the programming is done by only using three symbols the first one on the top you can see normally open contact so this is the symbol on the left hand side so normally open contact assume it as an open switch so by default it will doesn't will have any connections so when you press it so when the open switch is closed then only it will allow the supply that is normally open contact whereas normally closed contact is total viewers it means it is already closed and when you press it it will disconnect the line so that is the difference between normally open and normally closed contact so these normally closed contact on the left hand side you can see that these are the symbol which has been used either it will be with two lines on the side way and one inclined line otherwise with the two lines intersecting with this inclined line so these are the represent almost similar so with every plc you will find the similar instructions and the last one is the output coil you can see this output r coil it is called as the symbol on the left hand side you can see it has been written there open and close bracket so this represents all the digital field instruments just like motor pump solenoid valve whatever it may be so if it is a digital on and off just like fan is on and off pump is on and off so whenever we are talk, talking about the output field instrument our load so it is represented in plc with this symbol okay so rarely you will be using the not output coil so this is not required for us so these are the three different symbols which will be used mostly in the program okay. now coming to the case study so today we are discussing about a very um, you can say that um, direction control of an ac motor so this is a common example or common application in every industry will find it because they usually connect to the some conveyor system some pumping systems some some basic uh, cutting tools so all the ac motors are basically used there so how to control the direction that means i want to change the direction from forward to reverse reverse to forward that is the story so for that basically the conventional method is as you know we require two different coils forward coil and reverse coil or we call it as forward contactor and reverse contact so in the diagram it is shown here you can see on the right hand side it has been shown here forward and reverse contactor so basically we know that if we want to change the direction of any ac motor we have to reverse the two coils just like ryb is the three supplies which are coming down so any two supply if you reverse it down automatically you can reverse it you can change the direction so that is done by using this forward and reverse contact you can see that in forward contactor the red yellow and blue is coming on the top you can see from mcb the phase is coming three phase and directly it is going to your motor okay whereas in reverse contactor when you see you can see this this blue line is coming back here but on the other side of the reverse contactor it is connected to red and the yellow is connected to yellow another thing it is again connected to yellow but they have reversed this red also with the blue on the other side you can see so when i am energizing this forward contactor from the plc it will run in one sequence when i execute or when i energize this reverse contactor you can see because of the reversal of this two supply it will reverse or it will change the direction of the board but both should not run at the same time otherwise the motor will burn so protection has to be given so the logic we have tried in such a way 
that motor should not run even though operator is trying to push both the buttons at the same time or by mistakenly has done it whatever it may be so we have to interlock it okay we call it as interlock so we have to put safety to our motor so how this can be done in plc through program so in plc on the left hand side you can see that field we have forward button reverse button and stop button so these are the three inputs we have and we have two outputs forward contactor and reverse contactor so just remember this thing number of inputs and number of outputs because based on this we will be doing the program part so two outputs are there three inputs are there okay and we are controlling we are changing the direction of the motor so that is what i was telling about you can see here so these are the examples where the mostly these applications are basically done or you will find in the process industries so it's a common area so you might be in the future doing all this programming for number of motors in field area so that is why we have taken a general purpose application today now we'll go towards the programming part here we have considered the allen bradley as a plc okay you can consider any other plcs so today i am using allen bradley software called as rs logics 500 rs logics 500 okay so this is the name of the programming software for allen bradley plc in where i will be showing you the programming part now coming to the programming part so this is the software environment so this is called as this red you can see this line this is called as network if i want to increase the network what i have to do on the top you can see there is an option here so this if i click another network so 000 is first network 001 is the second network. okay so now selecting this at this point this is in i have already told you click on this it will jump here then output this is output symbol output energize click on this now we require to hold so whenever i say holding so i have to always select this then select this parallel contact drag this towards the left hand side select this area and take i know this is called as holding contact the top one is the start push button the below one is a holding contact the right hand side is my out now i will just give some addresses to this so for addresses every contact or instructions whichever you have taken just like this is as instruction these are the instructions every instruction has to be given some proper address so address is on the left hand side this is the area input double click on this this is address area and this if i put a cursor you can see that each cursor as i am moving this each on each point the num points number is changing these are point numbers you can see i am changing the point i am just changing the cursor you can see the point number is getting changed so we have the first address so this is the one simply drag it drag to this first part this is input i means input and just on the left hand side you can see output is there double click on this the first output this output the same thing if i am moving the cursor you can see the point number is getting changed so each point number means one field instrument which is connected in the field so this address i am dragging towards the output side so output will be given as output address input will be given as input address simple very simple and the same address you have to drag it in the holding contact so that this output runs continuously so if any output wants to run continuously always remember in the holding contact you have to write the same output address otherwise it will not work now the same logic this is for your forward push button and the forward contact so i will just name this just like this is forward push button and this is my forward contact forward contact okay so forward contact is an out now the same logic is required for reverse out because there are two different outs forward and reverse contact so you don't have to write again that's a very simple thing just control c select control v copy and paste that's it 
And what you have to do is open this input file, change the address. This is second input, then we required output. So I will just open the output, second output. This is my second, drag it. So I have already told you for holding contact, the same has to be copied here. And then click here and write reverse push button. And this has reverse contact. Now these are the starting conditions. So when I press start, the supply will be from left hand side, it will reach to the right hand side and it will get energized. That is what it means basically. The same thing when you are pressing the reverse, the supply is coming in and energizing this reverse. But we have an interlocking condition. I have already told, discussed in the case study that when forward is running, reverse should not. And when the reverse is running, forward should not. So when I'm saying that when forward is running, reverse should not. That means how the reverse is getting on because of this reverse push button. So when you are pressing this reverse push button, forward contact should get stopped. So whenever I say stop, you have to use NC. This is the symbol. You can see on the top, this is NO. This is NC. Click on this. So this NC will stop. So NC normally close contacts is used for stopping the outputs. NO normally open is used for starting the outputs. Okay, so this is the difference. So this is for starting, this is for stopping. So when I say this forward contactor should be stopped when this reverse push button is pressed. So the same address you have to drag like this. Similarly, select at this corner, click on NC. And this reverse contactor, when it has to be stopped, it has to be stopped when forward push button is on. And because of that, this font forward contactor gets off. So you have to simply drag this, put it here. That's it. Then we have another button called stop push button. Again, it's a name itself is stop. So it's working is for stopping. So when I say another button for stopping, you have to put it in series with again NC contact. Here also we have to put the NC. So stop is another input. So forward, reverse, stop. So that means it is a third input. So third input means third address. So we have already consumed zero, one. Now the sec third one is this out. So we will drag this. So stop button is common button. It will stop reverse, it will stop forward. So that is why the address will be same for these both contacts. So I will name it as emergency stop button. So whenever the operator presses this emergency stop button, the output should be off. Now, once this programming is over, then you have to download in PLC. So I'm just showing you how to download in the PLC. So currently we don't have a PLC here. So we will download in the simulation. The process is same. First, we have to save the file. Then download, you can see here, download. Yes, yes, then click in the down arrow, click on run. Run is nothing but execution, run, yes. Now you can see by default, nothing is run. If it is in green color, it is run. Okay, so whichever is a green color, just like you can see here, this is showing in the green color. This stop button is also showing. So NC element is showing green means it is allowing the supply. You can see this NO is not showing any green color. The output is not showing any green color. So when I toggle this, that means when I press, so right click on this, toggle bit. So see, now it is turning green. That means it is running. Okay. So I will release this button, toggle again. So I have pushed and released. Now the motor is running in forward direction. When I press this reverse, the moment the operator presses the reverse, what should happen? The forward contactor should be off. Reverse contactor should pick up. So the moment I toggle this, you can see automatically it has stopped. And this has started. Why? Because reverse push button, you can see here, the same address as the NC has been taken. See. So when you are pressing this I1, at the same time, this NC is getting open. So it's disconnecting the line. So that is why the automatically the forward contactor gets off 
reverse contact it. It's all simple. It hardly took me just five minutes to program it. It's really very easy to program any of the PSS. That is why people love, or you can say that industrial people are generally executing, or they are implementing these PLCs in their factories because of this reason. Now you don't do, have to do some complex wiring in the field area. It is very simple through PLC. And this is the not related to any C, C++, Java. We don't require such codes. It's purely electronics and electrical diagrams. Whatever has been taught to you in your engineering, during your engineering, the same thing with the different representation, it has to be done here. So it's really very easy. Hardly it takes almost three to four hours to understand the basic thing, programming part, that's it. And then you are ready to go with the PLCs. So this is how it works. So if you have any queries, any questions related to this, please connect to Shiksha Junction. We are always there to help you and be there. Thank you very much for today's session. Thanks a lot.